Hey guys, welcome to the James Bond show where there's no fears, limits or substitutes. I'm joined today by my little buddy, Mookie Bear. He's uh, one of my cats, yes, one of my five cats. Or oh, he wants to play and probably bite me. Okay guys, so what are we talking about today? We're talking about a whole bunch of stuff, what's going down on Bond 25, apparently on the film set. First I want to start off, there was an article released about Ben Whishaw. Now, the article was was going to a source, so not exactly from Ben Wishaw himself, but apparently that source said that Ben Wishaw has expressed his feelings that he'd like to see more gay people in James Bond films. Um, so that's not gay people cast in Bond films, but gay characters portrayed in Bond films. I'd like to know how you guys feel about that. Obviously, we've had Mr. Wint and Mr. Kidd back in 1971's Diamonds Are Forever as a gay as a gay couple, gay assassin couple. Personally, I don't go... I'm going to put this bad boy down a little bit. He's getting a bit restless. Personally, I don't go down the shops and see gay people everywhere. I don't go down the Travelator and see, see gay guys holding hands. I don't go, you know, to wherever and see gay people everywhere. The fact is, it's a smaller, very small percentage of society. So I don't believe it needs to be crowbarred into every film and every TV series. It's also in every TV series and so many films about that subject matter, about, you know, with, with homosexual people or, or gay characters. It's not something that needs to be crowbarred into James Bond films. That's how I feel about that. I'd love to know how you guys feel about it in the comments section below. In fairness to Ben Wishaw, it wasn't a direct quote from him. It was apparently, like I said before, from a source. So, But I'm just sick of the SJW, the media, using this agenda, or using films like, whether it's Star Wars Solo with its L337 pansexual droid, pushing this agenda that doesn't but really belong in those worlds. You know, no, it, it's not needed. It's not like, oh, you've got to have a gay person. If the writers sit down and they write a great character and they happen to be gay and it works because of this and that, then fine, okay, cool, not a problem. But it doesn't need to be pushed just to be pushed. Okay, so moving on now. In other news, apparently Daniel Craig uh, has got full creative control of Bond 25. Now, Kerry Fukunaga, if you've seen his work on True Detective, the guy's a creative man. I covered this in a video the other day. He's a very creative man. So, giving Daniel Craig full creative control, and you've got your second director after your first director booted on you, bailed on you because of creative differences, I think this is where Eon need to really tread carefully here. And I'd love to know, is there a clause in Kerry Fukunaga's contract that he can't walk away? Maybe they said, this is your pay, this is what you're getting, and here's a clause here that you cannot, you will be in breach of your contract if you walk away, especially with the uh, April 8th, 2020 deadline for release. Some of the photos that have just been released today show Daniel Craig, it's very kind of Thunderball-ish, he's got the harpoon gun, like a spear gun, he's walking along a jetty, shots where he's got a gun, and it's looking good, he's got, you know, the relaxed shorts on, the grey shirt, he's looking in, in pretty okay shape as well. Um, but then, an opposed, supposed source said that Daniel Craig's been very distant because there's been a lot of tension. And then they show a photo of him, and he's down on the beach, and it's like, oh, he doesn't want to hang out with the cast and crew. You know, he's keeping to himself. If he's not on his own, then he's with his bodyguards. These people have got to remember that there's millions of dollars of insurance on someone like Daniel Craig, and there's also millions of nuts out there that would like to get to Daniel Craig, and if they potentially hurt him or whatever, then the film could be gone, you know, over. And that's millions of dollars of investment down the drain. Also, between sets, and being a former filmmaker myself, I know that there's some actors that need their quiet time, that want to sit out, want to sit away, because they're getting their thoughts... They're focusing, you know, they're well-trained actors and they've got processes. So to just put under a photo, oh, Daniel Craig's not sitting with everyone and you can tell there's a big light above him and they're going for a take soon, to me that's garbage and, and unfair. Um, I think so far the photos are looking pr pretty promising. I mean, if we're over there in Jamaica and he's already running around with a harpoon gun and 
uh, and a, a pistol. I'm excited. I'm really excited by these uh, present photos. I can't wait to see more. Okay, guys, well, that's it for today's little update. Let me know in the comments below what you think. And please, guys, subscribe to the channel. There's going to be so much more. This is our basically the James Bond show launch weekend. There's going to be so much more, guys, coming at you. Please subscribe. Please share with your friends and know that you can come here for all your James Bond news, opinions, and a bit of gossip. I've been Stevie Kajivi. Until next time, keep on bonding.